King News, my lovely, wonderful people. Tinubu confronts Buhari. I told Buhari, when you move out, I will occupy the villa. It's a promise, whether you like it or not. Some people use the term cold war going on between Buhari and Ashiwaju Ahmed Bola Tinubu. Some say, well, Tinubu um, is ready, like he said, Emilio Kon is desperate to become president. However, Buhari may not share some of those sentiments and then uh, we rather prefer the Senate president with whom himself and the APC chairman said that, um, you know, he was the consensus candidate. After Emilio Kon out uh, uproar, we saw that uh, the things changed quickly in those regards. So this is what is happening right here and now. Tinubu has promised Buhari that whether you like it or not, eh, whether you like it or not, by hook or by crook, you will have to, at some point, too, you will have to, eh, you, will, you, will, you, will, you will have to manage it. I will occupy that house, whether you like it or not. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. I told Buhari, whether you like it or not, when you move out, I will occupy the villa, Tinubu. The presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, on Sunday declared that he's looking forward to occupying the Aso Rock Villa in 2023 as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Speaking in Benin, the Edo State capital, Tinubu said he has fought hard for Nigerians' democracy and it is normal for him to look forward to succeeding President Muhammad Buhari. It's normal for him to wish to become the president from where he has really worked on. The former Lagos State Governor said he hopes to occupy the Aso Rock presidential villa when President Muhammad Buhari tenor expires in May 2023. To this end, he told the Oba of Benin that he was in the state to seek the traditional ruler's prayers concerning the 2023 election. He said, I am here to seek your prayers. I fought for and suffered for democracy in this country. I made sacrifices. When we started this eight years ago, it is only normal to look forward to succeeding President Muhammad Buhari that I am running and I'm running now to take over that house. He was there when we walked and fought for it. I am running for the villa. When you move out, I will occupy the place. Therefore, I need your blessing. The blessing is important to me. I told President Muhammad Buhari, he has to release the blessing because I have done the same for him. He became the president 2015-2019. When I say it is my turn, I know exactly what I am saying. You may not understand it, but I know exactly what I am saying. During the visit, the Oba appreciated Tinubu for his plans to support the Muslims for the mosque for Benin. The, I'll take, you, take that again. During the visit, the Oba of Benin appreciated Tinubu for his plans to support the museum not more, sorry, for the Benin activists, which according to the traditional ruler will help terrorism and research and be better for the states. So he was in Oba's palace and he said, ah, 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 I knew what I did now. We all knew how, we, how much we fought for this nation. We all knew what we did. Buhari himself is very much aware. So I will not sit back there and allow, you know, him to look at it and think that, uh, no, no, no. I will do my, he knows, he know. he know what we did in 2015. When I say it is my turn, I know why I'm saying that. Wow, that's, you know, boom. this is good. Say, when I say it is my turn, eh? I, I, I know what I'm saying. When I say it is my turn, he said, I know what I'm saying. Buari understands. Those that know, know. Because he said he has fought hard and long for this country. And so nobody should take that which belongs to him. And uh, whatever they want to do with it, however way they want to go about it, is, he can't be bothered. All he knows is that it is his turn and he will achieve whatever he wants to achieve even here and now. You know, he said he has said that it is his turn. He knows how, according to him, he knows how much he fought for this country, what he has gone through, you know, and all that. that when he said it is his turn, he knows. 
you know, and uh, nobody should think that uh, he's just saying those words. No, because uh, really and truly, sincerely speaking, he's working and he's aiming at something and uh, he hopes to achieve it in no distance time. Because for him, it is his turn and um, nobody should try to make it look like he's not, uh, he's, not, uh, he's not speaking because he knows exactly what he's talking about. So the days upon us have become necessary that every single one of us must begin to look at things more appreciatively. And understand what is going on. Okay. Tinubu said when he says this is done, Buhari understands. Okay. You know, he says Buhari understands. He said, but now, you know, the whole, uh, you know, the whole issues that are going on here, eh, it, it is, uh, it is uh, important that every single person understand it. That every single person understand it. You know, so that means there is, a, there is some code element of discussions going on that um you know between buhari and tinubu you know initially apc uh, chairman abdul rahim adamu announced please go back in memory lane and please pull out that and see for yourself that it was the uh what was it called uh senate chairman that was the consensus candidate for apc when tinubu Rua, he said what a milo con a milo con everybody just choking quietly there was humbling of the self Emilio Kong, you know, and uh, at the end of the day, we can see that Emilio Kong has become a household name, you know. So these are some of the things that are happening. And so nobody should take it with levity, fold their arms and pretend that all is well. A lot of things have been happening and um, we all know for sure that um, until we begin to rise up and be sure and make real concrete, you know, decision in terms of mm -hmm. moving forward, we may not move forward. It must become a deliberate and a conscious effort by every single one of us. Every party involved must understand what is going on. Everybody must be able to, uh, you know, understand that these are very, you know, these are very dairy moments and everybody has a part to play. You see, so these are some of the things going on. When Tinubu said, said, I know what I'm talking about. He told the Oba of Benin. He was in the Oba's palace and he told Oba, he said, see, I went to see Bo, uh, Tinubu and um, Buhari and I told him I need the blessing. You must release the blessing because I need it now. You must release it. We know you and I know how hard we fought for you. 2015, 2019, we were there. I was warned, but I stood still. I stood with you. So don't come here and tell me that uh, in all of a sudden things, you know, it's not. No, 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 no. Emilio, I know where, where I'm saying when I said it is my turn. Wow. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now.